Hello and welcome. My husband and I and our two dogs have come on a dog friendly staycation in the UK to celebrate our wedding anniversary. We are at Blackwood Forest which is in Hampshire in like the south of the UK. I just wanted to show you a little glimpse of what the cabin we're staying in is like. What's available on this site and in the surrounding area because I know that with two dogs it's not always easy to find places to go and places that are really safe to take your pets <laughs> here it comes so we've got three children which we have left at home under the care of my mum we're very thankful that she's come over and looked after those but we did bring the dogs with us because it's just so much easier for her not to have to worry about them we have two french bulldogs hobbs who is four and siren who is eight steve is currently packing up the car because we are on our way home today sadly Hi. <laughs> crying <laughs> obviously this is predominantly a food channel so i have filmed a lot of the things we've had to eat some of the things we've made spoiler alert we did not end up making the crispy salmon parcels although we have tried the viral ball deck noodles the carbonara ones as well so i'll let you know our verdict on those and yeah i just wanted to show you around show you what's available and if you do have dogs then this is the perfect place to bring them so we are staying in what's called a golden oak hideaway this one is specifically for couples because it only sleeps two people although on this site and all the forest holiday sites they do have places that sleep up to i believe 10 or 12. like i said if you go back through my channel there will be other videos from places like this so because it's golden oak you get a log burner and you also get a barbecue included and that's the only difference between like a golden and a silver birch so you get a log burner and then you get your gas barbecue outside because it's a hideaway you also get like an egg chair you get your hot tub which you get in all forest holidays cabins from right there it's really ideally set up for couples you have your twin sinks we've got the massive sunken bath i'll insert footage of steve he's almost six foot and that shows you how big the bath is demonstrating the size oh, nice. and get in with him <laughs> yeah oh, and you can be like oh. if it doesn't work for me because I, like I have to sit sideways. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. Hello. Coming up. But no, I'm not going in the bath. Many is it? Oh, Pops is over there. Many's like bought a little shower car and a little bubble ducky. She wants to complain. In play boats. I don't know what he's talking about, really. You've got your twin sinks. If you are so inclined, you also have a twin shower so you can get in there together. So it really is a test of your relationship if you can shower in the same room without trying to kill each other. <laughs> this is a specific dog friendly cabin, which means you are charged £15 per dog per night, I believe. I will check that. If it's any different, I'll put it on the screen. The decking area is fully secure. I will show you there are no gaps unless you had a very, very tiny dog. You can just let your dogs out. They can go out and have a little sniff around. It's completely safe. The staff don't come in the cabin at all unless you have an issue with anything, which we never do. But there is a gate outside and that's how they access the hot tub, which they do come and check every single day top up the chemicals and things speaking of the hot tub i know a lot of people have said i would not fancy going somewhere with a hot tub because i wouldn't want to get in somebody else's water every time you leave for his holidays they drain the entire thing clean it out and fill it with fresh water so you are never getting in someone else's hot tub which is a bonus so you've got all your cooking facilities there is a full oven which is amazing by the way it works very very fast you've got your hob you've got microwave a fridge full-size fridge freezer there is a lovely little boot room because we are in a forest and it gets really, really muddy. So we've got that as well. In the dog friendly cabins, the sofas tend to be leather. They leave out the rug that usually goes like under this little table here. And they don't put things like the throw across the bottom of the bed just to make it easier for them to keep clean. And also peace of mind for you if you've got dogs like ours that would tend to perhaps run off with any throw i'm looking at you siren <laughs> she's a little bit of a resource guard so there are so many walks here through the forest there's lots of really well marked trails there's also the retreat which is a shop where you can get all your essentials if you forget anything that's where you check in and they always have like a coffee shop and a restaurant attached to them as well they're completely dog friendly so you can take your dog in the shop you can take them into the restaurant part they often have seating outside as well but there is also a dog parking area so you can leave your dog hooked outside if you want to so we have been to forest holidays quite a few times it is one of our absolute favorite places because we can bring the dogs it just makes so much sense for us to come to this kind of place rather than trying to like leave and find kennels for them and we don't always want to leave them behind and put the pressure onto other people to look after them so it's really nice to bring them away also at the moment and for quite a while now whenever you leave or check out forest holidays they do offer you a 15 percent discount when you rebook so that's why we often rebook after we've left 
because we get money off and that really helps. Two TVs. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, Steve. Just, I just said, Steve, what else am I forgetting? Um, in the couple's hideaway, you also get a TV in the bedroom so that you can lay in your bed and watch telly if you want to. We didn't really bother with that. And not only do you get amazing views all round, you can lay in the bed and you can look out at the forest, which is amazing. There's really thick blackout curtains here and here. They pull across and keep it completely pitch black in here. Like, you cannot see a thing. But if you want to lay here with them open, that's your view. And it's absolutely stunning. It's so nice, isn't it? Oh, it's really, really good. We just love it here. We really do. So we also have a premium package. So you get Wi-Fi included with that and you get loads and loads of films as well on your TV. You can also order takeaways or food deliveries from your TV and they will cook the food up at the retreat and deliver it down to you. There's even a little sign there that tells you all about it. We've never actually done that because we always either bring our own food or go out to eat. But like I said, we are heading home now, but I'm going to leave you with some of the bits and pieces we've been up to. We went, <laughs> we went into Winchester, so I'm going to take you with me around a few little places there. We went and saw King Arthur's Round Table. Winchester Cathedral, that kind of thing. Blackwood Forest also have a light trail over the Christmas period and they've left it on till the end of February this year. So we were lucky enough to be able to go and see that, although it was absolutely torrential rain. So you'll get to see that as well. The dogs are getting fed up now. They really want to get going. So yeah, we've got about a two and a half hour drive home. Obviously this is not sponsored, but I know a lot of you really like it when I share these kind of videos. And also it does really help if you are looking for somewhere to go and you want something a little bit special, but you want your own space. And if you don't want the hassle of flights or a hotel or anything like that, this is just absolutely perfect. If you like being out in nature and having a little bit of your own time and peace, then I highly recommend these. Obviously it's not sponsored, but I will leave Forest Holiday some sort of link down below just so you can find it. I think that's the majority of what I wanted to tell you. Also, usually you do get your own car parking space per cabin right outside. We've always had one right outside our cabin, whereas here we are just across the road. Um, but you always get a car parking space at least or if there's more of you then you get more than one car parking space He's coming in <laughs> But I promise I am here with I was my husband. Say, Yes, I'm here. <laughs> my husband of ni yeah. 19 years. 19 we've been years. married Yeah, we've been married 19 years. Yeah, which is ridiculous. It's mad um, and it's in good, two weeks time We'll have been together for 20. Mm. So there was no hanging around there was there? No, no. I'm just no. thinking that sounds like yeah, we were literally together 11 months and then we got married. What yeah, I'm not was? letting you get away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, I didn't, did you mention about parking? Look at my hand wobbling. Because obviously normally you get parking right outside your cabin, don't you? Yeah. And this is the probably one of the only ones we stayed at where yeah. you'll park just the other just side of the road. the road. And did you say about shoes? That highly recommend walking boots because it is muddy this time of year. <laughs> you yeah. get absolutely caked and the dogs are get caked as well didn't they oh the dogs are covered yeah. yeah um and that's what i said i said there's like a really good little boot room out there yeah um yeah it's just ideal like i said we really, really wanted to share it i know we have put a lot of these videos on our channel mm. but especially if you've got dogs or if you want something special even if you haven't got dogs but yeah. it is hard to find places sorry i'm cutting your head off right. my arm I'm just like, um, okay, it is hard to find places you can take dogs with you mm. and you can go and really enjoy yourself and just feel relaxed like i said it's so like um so secure. It is, and it's, yeah. it's peaceful, and there's no there's no light pollution. You can see the stars in the night time, can't you, from the hot tub and oh, things. Yes. And it's just absolutely lovely. Yeah. And it is. It's just it's really nice being in right in the woods, and you see all the animals as well, don't you? And, and the like discount's that. good. That's why I said like we do book again yeah. when we leave. I mean, I don't think we will be this time. We say that every time. I know we do. We and then we're like, oh, sure. We you get a month as well, so they give you fifteen percent discount on the day you check out, and you get a month to use it as well, oh, don't you? Okay, yeah. Which I is really know good. A month, but yeah, yeah. yeah you get thirty days. Yeah. Which is good, so you um, don't have to decide straight away. Yeah, they do do other things, don't they? Mm. Um, you get a little gift. I'll show you. You get a little gift when you walk in. They did used to leave you prosecco in the fridge, didn't they? Yeah, they did. We did. Um, and what else? Oh, there? coffee pods. Oh yeah, coffee pods. They they're not actually supposed to be included. You get an espresso yeah. machine, um, and you can pre-order them to be in your cabin when you get here. Yeah. But this time that little basket thing was full of yeah. coffee pods. We've probably had I don't know twenty or so in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Say that all again. Robes, hair dryer, nice soap. Nice soap. Um, yeah, so you get robes, two robes for the hot tub. Well, just robes, I suppose, which mm. Steve's about to model. <laughs> Steve is showing you the Forest Holidays robes. So you get those, you used to get slippers, they don't give you slippers anymore no. either. Um, which is good because they were disposable, they used to throw them away, which does seem very wasteful. 
Um, I know it's a bit small if you have big feet. I know it's small if you have big feet, but I don't. Well, I suppose I do. What else? Oh yeah, you get a hairdryer in your wardrobe as well. And what else did you say? Nice soap. soap. Nice Shower soap, gel. yeah. So this time around, again, they didn't put as much, did they? No. But it was L'Occitane. So there's a L'Occitane hand soap and there was a L'Occitane shower gel and it's as really well. Good. Was it? Yeah. Well, I didn't get to use it. I did. Did you use all of it? No, no. I didn't Where is it? Uh, in the back. Oh, we got it, yeah. It. Oh, it's literally like a little travel one. We're not like stealing. You're supposed to take it with That's you. That's it, they give it to you as well. Um, it. It's just lovely. It's so lovely themed and that. And yeah, loads and loads of plugs and heating, heating. underfloor heating. Yeah. And what else? They also love the underfloor heating. Though. They absolutely love the underfloor heating. Underfloor heating, little towel, rail warmer thing here. Um, and you can change all your heating wherever you go. You just get everything you need really, don't you? They, they, they yeah. do think of everything and it's yeah, nice. Yeah, we and love it. And like I said, there's lovely trails you can walk around. We do have to be out by 10 and it is 9.54. And you can cast your stuff to TV, do you say that's well? Right? Yeah, you can cast, <laughs> you can cast your stuff yeah. to TV. Would you want to just do this? No, 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 it's good. I keep forgetting. Yeah. You've got a teapot as well, in case that's important. Yeah, um, yeah you can cast to the TV. Which is a really good thing because you yeah. can't do that everywhere. So. Yeah, and they do have HDMI ports and things as well, yeah. um, <laughs> don't they? Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah. If you, so, if you remember bringing leads. Because it's set into the wall, the TV, the sound isn't always that good. Like if you're watching something with a lot of dialogue, you can't really hear it, it's quite muffled. Or it can be quite muffled. So we suggested, or one of us suggested, bringing our sound bar that we don't use and we were gonna plug it in. So you might have seen it up here. Uh, but somebody forgot the HDMI cable, so... It works really well from phone. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But, oh, my handbag's there. Yeah, don't forget that. Um, and also, when you take the key out, yes. like most places, um, I can't do that. The lights and everything go off, which is great, so you can't accidentally leave all your lights on. Wish we could stay longer, but we have to go home. Yeah, they do a quiz. We've never done the quiz night, no, but yeah, they do a quiz night. There was one on, wasn't there? The there was, night. on Saturdays. Um, yeah, and... Oh, right. Yeah, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And even though this is quite a big site, there's quite a lot of cabins, you just don't feel like there's anyone else here. I mean, you barely see anyone, do you? I love going through walks in the forest and taking the dogs, and, yeah. and everybody's just so, so friendly as well. Everybody is so friendly. Actually, that reminds me, <laughs> when we were walking the dogs yesterday, and just get my phone, <laughs> there a lady, I was calling Hobbs, and a lady said, oh, are you Victoria? And I was like, yeah, and I nearly fell over then. Um, and she said, oh, I watch your videos. And she was so lovely. And it was really nice, wasn't it? Yes. And I was like, it's, um, it's a little bit crazy. Like moments, it doesn't happen often at all. Although it's happened twice at Forest Holidays. <laughs> yeah, which is very strange. And one here in Hampshire, one right down in Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah, those are like those little pinch me moments where I never... <laughs> All right, then I'll, I'll get to the point. I don't know. It just really makes me feel like, oh my goodness, there's actually people out there watching. Because half the time, I like feel like I'm just talking to a camera, and I chat to you in the comments, but you never actually meet anyone, and to actually meet people, it's just so lovely. So yeah, if you are that lady, we were two children that were herring off down the hill on their little bikes, um, where you were like having to chase after them, and the cutest little dog as well. So if that was you, I didn't even get your name, but I was trying to like keep an eye on the dogs and. Thank you so much for saying hello, it really did make my day. And yeah, we're going. We've cleaned up, we've wiped up little heart-shaped things on the table. We've loaded the dishwasher, we've wiped everything. We've actually hoovered. I, I, like, I love to leave these places pretty much as clean as when you walk in. Unfortunately, we can't help the floor, like the mud, too much. But yeah, we have wiped it, we've emptied the bins, picked up all the, you know, dog pieces and things. And yeah, I better go. I will show you actually. I'm going to take the key. Bye bye. Bye, cabin. So, thank you. Out. That's it. We are off. I think that's everything. It's still down there. That's where the car is. So it's not exactly miles away. and we were number 17 golden oak i am going to get in the car and i will leave you with the rest of the video showing what we've been up to and i hope you enjoy it don't go without me
city of Winchester is only about a 15 minute drive from where we were staying so we decided to go and have a little explore and we wanted to see the cathedral although we didn't actually go in. This is actually one of the longest medieval churches in the world at 169 meters long and it has over 300,000 visitors a year and I didn't actually know that Jane Austen was buried here and if I'd known that before we went I probably would have gone and found where but she died in 1817 and she was only 41. So the other extremely interesting fact I think was that in 1906, someone called William Walker was employed to stop the cathedral falling down. Now, William was a deep sea diver and he worked for six hours a day for six years in complete darkness in water filled trenches under the cathedral using his hands to fill the way. And he was basically stacking up concrete bags so that they could eventually pump out the water that was causing the damage. Imagine working in the water in the dark for six years, six hours a day. So well done, William. So the next place we wanted to visit was the Great Hall, which is all that is left of Winchester Castle, which was actually built by William the Conqueror. Now, the reason we wanted to visit the Great Hall is because it's allegedly home to the legendary King Arthur's Round Table. Although there's actually a lot of conflicting opinions on whether it's the original one or not. Hampshire County Council firmly believe it to be genuine, but I have read reports stating that it was destroyed by King Mark during an invasion, and English Heritage actually claim it's not a table at all, but one of a group of prehistoric burial mounds located in Cumbria. Whatever way you look at it, the table that was in the Great Hall was over 18 feet in diameter and it weighed over a ton. So this table was absolutely massive. We also got to see the wedding gates that were commissioned for Prince Charles and Princess Diana for their wedding. And their wedding was actually in 1981. And if you look at the top of the gates and I tried to zoom in, you can see 1981 is actually built into the gates. The stained glass was all really beautiful and there was even one for Stephen King, although I'm pretty sure that's not for the author. So if you are ever in Winchester, I really recommend the Great Hall. It's only £4 each and while you're not going to spend an entire day there, there is a lot to learn and a lot of things to look at. We like this bronze of Queen Elizabeth II, which was unveiled to commemorate her Diamond Jubilee and it's actually six foot wide. There was also a massive statue of Queen Victoria, which was pretty creepy actually. Its eyes actually followed you around the room. So we had some time to look in a few shops. We popped in L'Occitane, we also went in Oliver Bonus, The White Company, and there was a market on as well, which was really nice. I don't know if it's only on Saturdays, but it was really good to be able to wander around there. And one of our favorite places was this little tea shop that we visited. It had hundreds and hundreds of loose leaf teas, and we did buy one to bring back with us, which I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, Winchester is definitely worth a visit. We really enjoyed it. I'm going to show you the bits I got in at the charity shop in Winchester. So first of all, we saw these little mugs. I suppose they're mugs, they're like, they've got no handle. I just thought they were so nice. I really like the color. It's a, like a very, very faint, like duck egg blue, or like an eggshell blue and I just thought they were lovely and they were a little, <laughs> they're nearly broken. They were 4 dollars for two. I just thought they'd be really nice for a little coffee or something. And then this is a vase, but I think, like Steve said, you could use it for a candle as well. And it's got like the right sort of size hole. And I looked at it and thought, I really like that. And that looks like some, some kind of Oliver Bonus, like anthropology thing. When I looked at the bottom, so for some reason the sound on my camera decided to play up here but on the bottom was a sticker from Anthropology saying £22 and we paid £7.99 for it so it was obviously still brand new and I absolutely love it, it goes perfectly with our lounge or our bedroom, I haven't quite decided yet. And this was the tea we bought from the tea shop, it was chocolate masala chai which we're probably going to make like a chai latte with so add some hot milk. It wasn't the cheapest place, but I really do like to support the independent shops when we go places like this. That and charity shopping are just my favorite things, to be honest. And hopefully we'll get quite a few cups because £8.50 for tea is dear. Mummy. You do, but they're not. <laughs> I will. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, That's a really nice squelch. Look at Bobby. How are you being a muddy boy? Did you muddy? What are you doing? Love you. Yeah, I love you. Put <laughs> your head in a bush. Little scratchy bums walking off, and then yeah. you too. Rename, oh dear. You're not renamed, oh dear. No, renamed. 
<laughs> they love it though, don't they? We got. You got. You stick. Nope. You're hiding. Show me. Very <laughs> neat. Bargain, cherry shop bargain. <laughs> Funny, you didn't even realise. No, oh, it's on the chair, that's why. <laughs> it fell on the chair. So we have wanted to try these Baldak spicy carbonara noodles for a really long time. I needed to see what all the fuss was about because I thought they're just noodles. They work out about just under £2 a pack if you order them off of Amazon and I can say they are really worth the hype but they come with these two sachets. One is a cheese powder and the other one is a spicy sauce. Now I added half a packet of spicy sauce to two packets of noodles and it absolutely blew our head off. We eat hot food all the time. But people that are adding one sachet per packet of noodles just must have mouths of steel. They were so, so spicy. But you get the cheese powder mixed in with the water. It's so, so good. We did ours with some crispy salmon. So I cooked it in chili oil and we topped it with sweet chili sauce. This was a really quick dinner. It took about six or seven minutes absolutely amazing i loved it and we also used the other packet of noodles that we had left over or the other half the pack for the next day we used up the bacon and made like a carbonara so so good so i'm definitely gonna order them again and steve thinks that we should do an entire video on trying all the different flavors
So it is slightly raining and we are just heading out to, well there's a little light trail there here is. and it's like a Christmas light trail but it's, <laughs> it's February the 25th today hmm. and it's still on for two more nights but it's only on between half five and half seven. Tonight is our last <laughs> night and we really really want to go and see it but it is torrential rain so I've actually got <laughs> A, like a onesie pajama suit on so i've just chucked a hoodie on i mean this is when it's not pouring with rain <laughs> yeah but it'll wash them off yeah it might maybe. Clean them. the dogs are coming i'm not sure they look impressed well, either so i'm wearing like a jumpsuit right. like a lounge suit thing and i'm just gonna try and tuck myself into my wellies um which are also absolutely oh this is ridiculous it's absolutely heaving 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 teeming with rain oh yeah. i look like a wally <laughs> oh <laughs> me no God save you. Would if you put one of on feet? You don't look like a wally anyway. We're in pajamas and a jumper. It doesn't look like pajamas. Pouring with rain in February. It doesn't. It is pajamas. Oh, I haven't even tucked that in very well. Yeah, but I? you get to see the lit up reindeer. Yeah, but there's probably only three blimmin' things. Yeah, but then it's only then we won't be very long. Okay. Yeah, this is very smart looking. We said we'd do it, so we're gonna do it. Yeah. There is no full length mirror. I'm in the bathroom. Pajamas and willies. And uh, yeah, we're going. And you can see the rain up there. It's... And what would be nice would be to lay in that bath right now with the rain teeming down on the little skylight. But no, we're going walking in it. I'm going to blow these candles out. Yeah. Maybe it'll stop. Yes, I'm manifesting. This doesn't sound worse than it's it good. is. It's good. No, this is worse than it is. I don't think you appreciate the rain. It is bad. There's a car. It is bad. Look, look at the literal river running down the hill. It's fine. Mm. It's not fine. Oh, it's Listen to it. This better be good. Look how nice it looks everywhere. Doesn't look nice. Yeah, yeah, the cabins look lovely actually, to be fair. It's our favourite place in the world. Very pretty. But look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing in the puddles. Come on, Bobby. He's not enjoying this. Are you not enjoying it? Come on. Come on, it's fine. You'll enjoy it. I love all the cabins. Even if it is raining. Come on, baby. So nice. Favourite place ever. <laughs> Never been to this one before. Yeah. He says it's not raining. <laughs> it's not raining a lot. Not raining much. In bloody years. It is raining. <laughs> I've got a clip in so my hood doesn't even fit on my head. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm getting wet. My head is wet. Oh my god, no! <sighs> I love how Bobby's flat. He doesn't enjoy it, does he? All these people are snug in their cabins, yep. enjoying their forest. Treehouse. We stayed in one of those on my 40th. Yeah. I like the treehouse, but to be honest, not my favourite because you feel very cut off from the main area you do. it was nice to have a little bit on our own but everyone else was in the house and we really like being in the house and it's like this as well if it's raining you've got to run across a little boat bridge yeah i know oh look oh, is it oh, lights wow. there? Uh, is that it can we go back now yeah, so have we seen it yeah but that's perfect yeah that's what i mean we've seen it we can go back now no mm. i'm gonna go back that's awesome i love that Okay, neither me or my camera are loving the water. The dogs are not loving the puddles. But this is for you, Pauline, because you said you wanted to see the light trail, make sure we take pictures. So we've come out in the rain just for you. That's Steve's mum, by the way. She wanted to see the light trail. So we're risking our lives. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't film me in my pajamas. <gasps> it's really pretty though. Would have been nicer at Christmas in the dry. Look how pretty that looks. So cute. Oh, 
I know. <laughs> I don't know what way we're meant to be going. I can't even see a path. I think it might be this way. Yeah. Me and Ren have gone this way. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I can't see anything. I can't see the ground. Then he realized another boy had lived here and made an amazing snowman. I'm going to make a snowman too, thought Billy. Just like his one. He took the box and ran outside into his pocket for a hanky. And instead found the present from Father Christmas. Well, wow, it's really deep, man. <laughs> it's really bad. It's so cool. I've never seen anything like it. It's so fun. <laughs> I'm in a den. <laughs> like lit up. We have no idea where we're going. This is literally what we can see. Oh no, I'm supposed to be on torch due to all oh, the rain's getting oh, no. <laughs> That was so worth it though. Oh, it's brilliant. So lovely. Even in <laughs> the rain. Too. You know where you're going. Hobbs does not like the water. Look. No, he's not enjoying that. I might have to put my camera away because I can't see a thing. Oh no. I'm supposed to be up ahead. <laughs> Cabin's up there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're going. Yeah, I can hear loads of other people enjoying themselves in their cabins. Yeah, I think in their cabins. Oh, <laughs> I won't be filming this for me. We're in the hot tub. Wish I was in the hot tub. <sighs> it's only quarter past six. Look. I know it's really dark. That's what I love it's about it. It's suddenly gone. Place. Really, hang on. <laughs> suddenly gone very dark. Yes, I love it about this place because. <laughs> You don't get any light pollution other than two silly people walking along with torches going, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Everyone's like, it's so nice and quiet and peaceful. And I was like, ah! Yeah, there's a light in the hole in the bloody holiday. I mean, that trail was fairly quiet. <laughs> I'm not so surprised. <laughs> there weren't many people. It's a good day to go because, you know. Simon is loving walking through these puddles. I know, Hobbs isn't. We're going to go home and light the fire. Definitely. Oh, <sighs> God. Yeah. There's us in Mexico, warmer times, yeah. warmer times. <laughs> oh, take my jumper off, oh my goodness. Oh, that's really cold, isn't it? Yeah. All of a sudden it's got really, really cold. I'm absolutely, oh, I've got muddy as well. I don't know, it's a leaf. Absolutely <laughs> drowned. <laughs> well, it was good fun though. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. Really enjoyed that. I need to get this off because, yeah. So I was like, no, don't do that again. I did not enjoy that. Got a little telly up there. And we laid here this afternoon, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, I read my book and dozed. Yeah, <laughs> it's a complete mess. Read my book and dozed and Steve was watching Robin Hood. And it was just pouring with rain and the dogs were just laying asleep. It's so nice. Just relaxed for a bit, didn't we? Oh, it's lovely. It's really nice. Really, you, know, you can light the fire. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of chaos. We had it all tidy earlier, but I'm like, nah. I just need to get this wet stuff off.
we are in the car we've just dropped off our key and we are on our way home it's about two and a half hours yeah. from here which is not too bad no right then <laughs> little passenger in the back two passengers like two me. yeah yeah let's oh, no, yeah, get in there <laughs> let's see his head <laughs> so we really hope you have enjoyed this video and we'll be back really soon with another one and it's just starting to rain it is so good <laughs> <'Cause we're in laughs> here. yep it's nice and dry take care guys bye